Hello, welcome to King's Kitchen. I am Chef Sylvia Darcy and it is a pleasure to welcome you again, but this time around to our new kitchen. It has been an exciting year cooking along with you since when we launched in February 2020. And today, this is the first time that we are cooking in our new kitchen. And what a coincidence because we are also shooting our last video of the year. So today we are making pound cake. Yes, I'm going back to my childhood where cooking, actually baking, was my first passion. I had loved to bake even before I learned how to cook Cameroonian dishes. So today we are going to be making pound cake. 2020 has been a tough year, especially that the world was hit with a pandemic. It has been difficult for you, for me with our loved ones and with many other people around the world. But I hope that this recipe will bring so much sweetness into your life as we celebrate Christmas and also as we look forward into moving into 2021. I hope this recipe will bring joy into your life and I hope this recipe will be a symbol of great things that will happen in 2021. So if this is your first time visiting my channel, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also ring the bell so you will be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new recipe. Until next time, I wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I look forward to seeing you in 2021 where we are going to cook some exciting Cameroonian dishes right here in this new kitchen so stay blessed and merry christmas to you and your family to make this pound cake we are going to need the following ingredients eggs cream cheese flour butter granulated sugar powdered sugar milk baking powder salt nutmeg vanilla extract and cream cheese extract I'm going to begin by making the cream cheese icing. To do that, I'll pour my cream cheese into my mixer and then add in the powdered sugar. I will cream both of them together until it becomes smooth and fluffy. Then I will add the cream cheese extract for some flavor and then mix it until it becomes combined. I will pour the cream into a bowl and then place it in a fridge for a later use. Now I'm ready to make the pound cake. I'll begin by creaming the butter and the granulated sugar together until it becomes light and fluffy. Then I will carefully separate the egg yolk from the egg white. I will set the egg white aside for a later use and then add the egg yolk into the butter mixture and then mix it until it becomes combined. Once the mixture is combined, I will now add my pig milk and then continue mixing until it becomes fluffy. Now I'm going to sieve the flour, salt, baking powder and nutmeg into a bowl and then gradually add it into the mixture and then mix until it becomes smooth and fluffy. Then I will add the vanilla extract and then continue mixing until it all combines. Moving on, I will pour the egg white into a clean bowl and then use my hand mixer to whip it until it forms into a stiff pick. Then I will gradually add it into the cake batter and then gently fold it into the mixture. At this point in time, I do not want to mix the cake too much or otherwise I will prevent it from rising when it is baking. So the cake batter is ready, I'll pour it into my cake pans and then bake it at 350 degrees for 40 minutes or until when the cake is golden brown. Another way to check if your cake is ready is to insert a knife or a toothpick in the cake and if it comes out clean then your cake is ready. At this point I will turn off my oven and then take out the cake and then let it cool.
I'm now getting into the most exciting part about baking. So baking is something that I love since childhood and icing a cake, trust me, I can never go wrong with that. If you remember the cream cheese icing that we made at the beginning, this is the time that I'm going to use it. So I will start by putting a little bit of the icing on top of the cake stand on the cake board and then I'll place a layer of the cake. Then I'm going to fill in each layer with the icing and then take the excess icing and ice the entire cake with it so this is just a beautiful simple Christmas cake but it's so delicious with so much flavor and creaminess now look at the cake it's all beautiful and trust me it's going to take taste good as well so let's take a dive into it and see how it looks like mm, 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 mm. look at that look at each layer of the cake look at the cream cheese look at the yumminess look at the creaminess i hope you get to recreate this recipe so you can share this with your family to taste the yumminess and the joy of christmas it is always a pleasure to cook along with you i can't wait for 2021 to come because there's a lot in stores for king's kitchen and i know you do not want to be left out so go ahead and click the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a new video until next time merry christmas happy new year see you all later best of luck bye bye